So today I'm in greenhouse number two. This is our, strictly our um, cherry tomato house. So I have 350 uh, different colored cherry tomatoes, different varieties growing in here. Um, and as you can see, I've got all these loose strings at each plant hanging down. Um, that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. I'm getting a lot of questions on that. I know I have a video out there, probably a couple in amongst other videos explaining what we do, but today I'm just going to do this video just on this topic. And for those that want to know, guess who's going to be back on Monday? Today's Tuesday. Next Monday, Haley will be back. So I'm quite excited about that because I could really use her help. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to get started with uh, explaining a few things. So first of all, we um, use these. This is the string that's hanging here, and I'll show you how they're hung up afterwards. But this is called a tomahawk. You can purchase these, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put a link to where I purchase them because you're from all over the place. Everybody that watches our channel, it, you're from all over the place, so you're not gonna buy them from the same place as me, of course. So just Google tomahawk, and this will show up. Now you can purchase them with or without the string. We purchase them with the string. You can purchase them just the wire and then wrap and a roll of string and wrap your own string if you want but we don't we just purchase them like this so this is called a tomahawk and to clip the tomatoes onto these strings we use these these are called tomato hooks and we have the solid dark colors or there's the um, more clear color now the clear ones are not near as durable as the colored ones these are a little flimsy. Um, if you keep them out of the sunlight throughout the winter when you're not using them, um, they'll be fine. Uh, they do The clear ones do break easier. And these ones are my favorite, but these are cheap. These, Google, like I said, Google tomato clips, and this will come up and just source where the best place for you to purchase them from is. Um, these... I know the tomahawks, I'm not exactly sure how much we paid for them, um, but the tomato hooks, I know we paid, I think it was around $80 for 10,000 of these. Super cheap. So if they break, it's not a big deal. 10,000 is a lot. Um, I'm not sure if you can get them in smaller quantities. I'm sure you can. But if you want to buy them in bigger quantities, then we got them for about $80 for 10,000 of these. So I'm going to... Um, show you exactly how we do this all right so to explain the tomahawks and how we hang them um we have got i'm going to try to go over this way we have got 11 gauge fencing wire strung from one end of the greenhouse to the other and we've also got little brackets um in throughout just to uh keep the wire from sagging so that is strung they're strung from one end to the other and you can see the turnbuckles at the end over here so this is what we do and this is why we do it okay so i apologize again if this is hard to see as i'm doing this but i'm on my own for now so i have nobody to um video for me so with the string when you drop your string you want to make sure that it's down to the ground okay so what i do is i'm going to take one of these clips so with the clip you can see it's got two little um nubby things i don't even know what you call them anyhow that is because you want to put your string in there when you close that string and put it around the branch of the the um tomato or the stem of the tomato, that string is not going to move at all. So I'm going to undo this and just show you how I attach it to the plant. So what you want to do is you want to bring it down. I'm going to bring it down to the bottom branch. Okay, so there's this one here. And I'm going to attach my string like I showed you. And I'm going to put that tight, but not like super tight where it's going to pull the plant up. And I'm going to clip that under that one solid branch. And then I'll take another one 
and I'll do the same under this branch up a little further. And that's it. So every week we will continue to do this because they'll grow about a foot a week. Now what you don't want to do is you do not want to take your string and clip your clip around this part because that's where your, your um, flowers are going to start and you're going to just bunch this up and it's just going to either break off or these tomatoes will start growing through the clip. So you stay away from the trusses. All right, which that's a truss. Another thing we do is we sucker. So as I clip, I don't do it before I clip because they're harder to see. So I'm gonna move that one out of the way. And you can see that these are falling. So this way here, you could bamboo them, but these are indeterminate uh, tomatoes. So they're just gonna keep growing and growing and growing. Um, I'll explain that later. So this keeps them nice and upright. And in between each branch and the main stem, you get a little sucker growing. You're gonna take those off, okay? And I know I've explained this before, but I don't know which video it's in, so it's easier for me just to do this. We just take the suckers off, and we're not gonna replant them. Now here's a bigger sucker. So if you wanted to, you could take this sucker and do like CB does from CB's Greenhouse and Garden, and stick them right in the soil, and he starts other plants just like that, and they root very well. But we don't need any more, so I'm not gonna do that. So that's it for that one. And then I'm going to show you, I may as well do this one. This is, these are crazy. This should have been done a while ago, but I've been uh, a little busy doing everything else. So again, I'm gonna take my string, my clip, and put that on. And believe me, it doesn't take long. It's because I'm explaining as I go that it's taken me so long. So I'm only gonna have about two, three at the most clips on each plant for now. And again, take off these suckers. And any yucky leaves at the bottom. And that's it. So th these will start straightening too. I'm just gonna wrap this branch around that way. There we go. And then he'll stand up a little straighter. And that's it. So with these tomatoes, they because they're indeterminate, indeterminate means that they will just continue to grow. When you get the in, uh, the determinate tomatoes, they're going to stay more of a, a shorter bush tomato. In this case, these are not like that. These are indeterminate. They're going to grow right up to that fencing wire where we have the tomahawks. And just as they get there, we start our drop and lean um, technique, which we'll show you later on. Or you can go back to one of our videos from the past and try to find it. But, uh, so there we go. I've got three done <laughs> and I have 350 in total to do. So I'm gonna get on this. It's not gonna take me long. And I'll just show you how nice and neat everything looks once it's finished. And it just keeps all the tomatoes at bay. It keeps them nice and neat. And then uh, we can continue to take off suckers and clip them up and it's amazing how fast they grow. So, and it keeps them from going all wild and crazy. So I'm going to, uh, actually I'll show you what it looks like. I'll show you a picture at the end. I'll show you a picture of before and I'll show you a picture of after. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. And there we go, complete. Look at how nice and neat they are. I don't know if you can even tell, but no more loose strings. Um, I have both roll-ups up on either side, the back windows open and the front door open. And when the wind blows through, these plants are going nowhere. They just stay put. And uh, so I've taken off all my suckers. I'll show you actually. So this is what I got off these plants now. They're, the sun has gotten to them, but there were some massive suckers on these plants. So each one of these potentially could have been another plant but we don't need any more so um yeah so it took it took a little bit of time because there were so many suckers and um just the stringing of them so i have anywhere from two to three clips on each um 
each plant but you can see how nice and sturdy they are now this is where I've taken the suckers off you can see in the little uh, joints armpits I call them and you can see how this was some of them are a little crazy now these are starting to straighten up already but some of them were really bending because they were just laying and going free range right now they're going to be trained to grow right up so what we'll do is each week we will come in and um, take off any sucker or sorry each day we will come in and take off any suckers because it's amazing how many you miss and how quickly they grow and then each week we'll make a day where we come in and um, keep clipping up so as this grows you're going to just keep clipping so when it gets to there we'll put another clip on there and so on pretty straightforward so this is my problem right now is I still have other potted plants in here so I had to move all of them when I was uh, stringing my strings up to the top uh, putting my tomahawks up to the wire which was kind of a pain in the butt but you got to do what you got to do and I just want to show you my my grapes are coming along beautifully grapes are the most beautiful plant I think like isn't that gorgeous so I'm gonna keep these indoors for now all of my rhubarb I have rhubarb here and lots next door and number one I'm gonna put that out um, there's heavy rains coming tomorrow so I'm gonna wait until that's over and then my other transplant so it'll be nice to get rid of all this stuff and then we can work freely here so that's it that's it for now um, got my green hands back so this is uh, getting a job done like this is so rewarding because it's one of the major things that have to be done and it's always in the back of your mind that you have to do this and there's so many other things going on that sometimes it's hard to get done but now I'm done um, and like I said Haley is gonna be back on Monday so we were thinking um, who would want to see a live video from us um, on even just a little bit of time spend a little time with us as we work maybe um, in greenhouse number one and here I'm not sure you you guys comment down below if you'd like to see it if, it, if we think there's gonna be enough people watching then we would we'd try it we've never done one um, but I think it'd be pretty cool just to hang out so anyhow that is it my uh, strawberry baskets that are hanging up there doing nicely they're coming along and then I've got my tumbling toms on the floor over there and I've got some over on that side as well both strawberries and tumbling tom hanging baskets so that's it for this video um like I said I'm gonna just continue to do little short clips here and there or pretty much every day actually if I have if I can to uh, put some content out there and then it's just individual topics so anyhow you guys have a great day we'll see you maybe tomorrow bye and look at this starting to fruit how exciting is that